good afternoon or morning or evening, depending on where you are. This presentation is titled How does Wikidata shape gender identities, initial findings and developments from the WIJD Wikidata Gender Diversity Project. I'm Daniele Metilli and my co-authors are Beatrice Melis, Chiara Paulini and Marta Fioravanti. What is our project about? It is a one-year project funded through the Wikimedia Research Fund uh, and started in September 2022. We are looking at gender diversity in Wikidata, focusing not just on the gender gap between men and women, but also on marginalized gender identities. We are centering these identities, looking at them from a queer and intersectional feminist perspective. Our motivation is that the identities that fall outside the gender binary suffer discrimination and systematic erasure in society, impacting especially trans people, non-binary people, intersex people, but any kind of sex or gender diverse identity. Now, some important facts that we know to be true. First of all, gender is not a male-female binary. It is actually much more complex than that. As you can see from this still quite simplified picture, where you have a distinction between gender identity, gender expression, sex assigned at birth, physical attraction, and emotional attraction. And more aspects of gender could be added, such as gender modality, trans or cisgender, and even pronouns. And all of these are independent variables, in the sense that, for example, just by looking at someone's pronouns, you cannot reliably infer their gender. It is also important to note that gender diversity is not a new phenomenon. Trans and non-binary people, like me, have existed on this planet for a long, long time. And there is plenty of data and documentation attesting to this. Now, what are the research questions of our project? We have three, broadly. How, what and why? So we are looking at how gender is modeled in Wikidata and how it has been modeled historically. In the ontology, we are looking at what is represented, so the gender data, uh, who, in the sense of which people, uh, but also uh, what data we have uh, in the knowledge base about them. And then we are looking at why, uh, and to look at why we are looking at discussions uh, about gender made by the community. Each research question corresponds roughly to a project outcome. So we have, uh, number one, a Wikidata gender timeline, which is a complete interactive timeline of gender modeling in Wikidata, looking at all the major events throughout the history of Wikidata. Then we have Wikidata gender dashboard, number two, uh, a dashboard showing statistics about gender identities in Wikidata, uh, not just uh, about uh, the number of people, but also about other aspects that are described in their biographies, in their biographical data. Uh, number three, we create a gender talk, is a corpus of user discussions about gender that can potentially be reused by other researchers. Uh, number one, the Wikidata create a gender timeline. Uh, this is now at a good stage of development. Here you can see just a screenshot, but basically we have all the events uh, classified, uh, ordered chronologically, and linked to each other. Then we have the Wikidata Gender Dashboard that is still in development, so we're only showing some statistics here. Uh, currently, there are 25% uh, women and 74% men in the knowledge base, and a small percentage of non-binary people, about 1,000, uh, and 150 intersex people. Of course, there are also 400 trans men and about 1,700 trans women. Since trans men are men, trans women are women, and this is a fact not up for debate, we include uh, trans men among men and trans women among women. In this slide, we can see some additional data about identities that fall under the non-binary umbrella, such as gender fluid, agender, gender queer. This is interesting uh, also we have noticed that over the last few years, there has been a significant increase in the number of non-binary people and also a bit of a shake-up in the numbers for the different identities. Finally, the third outcome, which is also at a good stage of development, is the Wikidata Gender Talk, a corpus of Wikidata user discussions. 
our analysis of the corpus is based on computational linguistics using especially discourse analysis and topic modeling that we are looking at it from quantitative and qualitative points of view of course this is not all we have many other topics of interest that we have started to look at uh, such as the, the role of language uh, the structure and evolution of the ontology model uh, family relations uh, that are sometimes gendered and other gendered properties uh, wikidata versus wikipedia uh, the population of gender values including the role of bots uh, uh, handling of gender transitions, uh, uh, the naming, pronouns, and uh, we could list a lot more. Since we don't have time to report the detailed results here, we have uh, just uh, listed our first publication on the subject, which is called Non-Binary Gender Representation in Wikidata. It is a book chapter as part of Ethics in Linked Data. I also want to mention uh, that uh, we recently had an abstract accepted for the special issue of internet histories on gender. So uh, we, we are very happy about it uh, and we will uh, start working on the paper very soon. Uh, finally, we have a lot of presentations. Uh, this is actually the first one for this year. So in the next couple of days, we are participating in Queen Wikipedia. We invite you to participate as well because it is a very interesting event. Then we are doing three conferences in June and one Wikimedia event, and we uh, are planning more conferences later. But uh, I want to mention that in September we will have uh, an end of project event that will uh, demonstrate and show all the results. So we hope to see you there as well. This is all for now. Thank you very much from me and from the rest of the team. This is our website uh, where we are starting to put uh, some. Uh, information about the project and then we will publish all the results here if you're interested in discussing the project with us uh, you can find our contacts on the website and reach us from there thank you